hockey really has given you everything, hasn't it? Oh well, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I've been pretty fortunate. Uh, you know, it's been uh, it's been in my family for a long time. You know, my dad worked in hockey, played hockey, and you know, since I'm a baby, you know, just watching the Montreal Canadiens grow up in an environment that hockey was uh, it was everything, and uh, definitely uh, you know, making a career out of it was uh, something that I always always uh, dream of. Was there ever a time when hockey wasn't, in some ways, the center of discussion in the Brodeur household or with you and your friends? Well, my brother played baseball for, for the Expos in the farm team, so I mean, definitely it was summertime, it was a little uh, discussion about baseball, you know, the Expos were pretty big, you know, we're pretty big, good baseball fans also, so uh, maybe that was the only time, but, uh, you know, hockey is definitely, uh, you know, took, uh, took over everything. What, what kind of early memories do you have of, of this game? Well, in the, you know, going outside in the parks and playing hockey, street hockey, you know, just, you know, taking my supper and, you know, eating it in about a minute and a half so I could get back and don't miss too much of the game, you know. These are things that now I don't really have a chance to do anymore. It's really enjoyable and, you know, to this point, every time I do something, win Stanley Cups or won the gold medal, I always go back with my friends and play a street hockey game for it. And uh, so, you know, these are memories that always can stay with me. It was a lot of fun. What was it like where you grew up? Like anybody, you know, you just, we had a lot of, you know, kids the same age. We, uh, you know, we hung out, you know, did our thing, you know, did our good things and our bad things together. And we did a lot of sports, you know, played baseball in the summer, played hockey in the winter and uh, just regular life, you know, not much pressure, just having fun. What was the neighborhood like where you grew up? It's a nice neighborhood. I think it's a suburb of Montreal. I mean, it's on the island of Montreal, but it's east of, um, of the city. And, uh, you know, like I said, it was quiet. You know, it's a cool district. The parks were right beside where we lived. And, uh, you know, it was, you know, we didn't have it too hard, put it this way. We kind of, we had a nice neighborhood, a lot of fun. When you go back there, what's it like? Well, I, I go back, you know, quite often. Every time I play the Canadians, I, I go and go say hi to my mom go have a little spaghetti with her, you know, and just hang out. Uh, summertime, you know, I try to go as much as I can. You know, I live kind of a little out of the way, but uh, it's fun. You know, it just brings back a lot of memories. It's small. I thought it was big when I was, <laughs> when I was small, but, uh, you know, I go in there, it's a little small. I got four kids running around, you know, it's kind of makes that house a little crowded. How did you become a goalie? How did it come about that you wanted to go between the pipes? Well, I was, uh, was kind of a little different, you know. I was, Played hockey in this team. Uh, so I was a forward, and next thing you know, the this, this team was a little higher than me, or maybe a little older. They, they needed a goalie just to be a backup for a tournament. So they asked me, says, Marty, do you want to go out and uh, you know just be the backup? Look, my dad's all excited, you know. It's like, oh, a goalie, you know. I didn't even realize my dad was a goalie. I was so young. I was you know, seven years old. And uh, so I, I went out, and I played. I had a chance to play, played well. So the next year, I come back to the rink, and uh, coach grabs me by myself. Says, what do you want to do? You want to be a goalie or you want to be a shooter? So I look at him, and I'm like, I'll be the goalie. All right, that's fine then. And Nick, I made the, probably the biggest decision of my life without my parents, without anybody around me. And you know that's kind of you know the way that I started to be a goalie. How do you decipher what you kind of keep around as a as a memory in terms of, of items from the game? Oh, I don't know. I mean, let's take a look. I we pulled some out of the uh, the things, but uh, you know, because I, you could. I mean, you could have sticks. You could have uniform I, tops. You could I, have a lot of things. I, well, I, I got sticks. I got I got sh jerseys, and I got a few other things that I really like too to, to collect. You know, you know, we we'll look at this. Like these are the masks I played in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Both of them. This one is in Nagano. If you could see right here, we got uh, you know the Nagano on one side, and my dad's Olympic when he played in 1956 at Cortina d'Ampezzo. And but this mask was never used. <laughs> I didn't play much over there, but I still figured I'm gonna keep it. This one was a little more successful. Just you know, yeah, this one is from uh, the last Olympics. Uh, a little different. You know, it's the first time really I saw myself without the devil's mask. So it's kind of my kids don't even recognize me. I'm like, who's that goalie, yeah, mommy? <laughs> you know. So the same kind of principle. You know, we put my dad's Olympic in Salt Lake City 2002 on it. In, in some ways, because you didn't get a chance to wear that one, did it make this one a little more special? Definitely, you know, I mean, uh, just the fact that I had one, and like, and you know what, I, I for, totally forgot about it, maybe a month before, I'm like, you know what, 
I gotta get a mask. So I, you know, I call my guy. I'm like, listen, can you do something with it? And uh -huh. the guy, boom, right away. I, I got it like within a week or two. Practice once with the devils with it on. Lou was in there out. I'll put it on. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, this is uh, you know my first game ever in the NHL. Uh, won five two against Boston. I was 19 years old. Just got all up from from the juniors. So uh, you know this is. Time I look at it, it makes me feel pretty good. Yeah, it looks like you got the score sheet embedded there, uh, along with the puck. Beyond the victory, what did what does it symbolize to you? It was a goal that uh, it was a big achievement for me, you know, making to the NHL. You know, play one game. You know, most of the people could just dream to play one game in the NHL, and and with this is you know I you know achieved my dream, and you know I've kept on dreaming, and I've <laughs> got to get a little greedier too, and I got bigger dreams and. But this definitely was my first dream. I wanted to make it to the NHL, and that puck uh, and you know that little uh, trophy kind of makes me remind me about that. And in the foreground, a half a puck. That's yeah, well, I keep all my uh, the pucks in my shutouts, and uh, you know I got you know 56 or I don't know exactly how many plus the playoffs. And this one's a special to me because I we had a shutout. Me and uh, it was zero zero tie. Didn't even win, but got a shutout. Me and Dominic Ashek and. Uh, took the puck off the ice. So, you know, Mike Gilbert, that used to work for the Devils, now, you know, he worked for Buffalo, and I, so I called him, like, listen, tell Dominic, I need the puck, and he <laughs> wanted the puck. Sure. So I said, you know, cut it in half, we'll sign it to each other, and it'll be a nice souvenir. I don't know if he kept his, but me, you know, it's, it's kind of pretty cool. Everybody's asking, why do yeah. you have a half a puck? <laughs> Who owns a half a puck, you know? So this is the story behind that. I mean, it's classic, too, I mean, with your autograph and, and, and Dom's on it. I yeah. mean, what a great memento. Now, next to that is, of course, the gold medal, and I mean, you, not only is it something personal, of course, but I mean, the country reveled in, in the success. Yeah, it was, you know what, it was a great experience. Uh, you know, a lot of big expectation coming out of, of uh, being uh, you know, part of, uh, you know, the Team Canada. Um, you know, n knowing that we didn't do that well in 98, and it's been 50 years, we never, we didn't win a gold medal. So, I mean, that's a long time, you know, for you know, hockey country like you're supposed to be in Canada. So uh, you know, we had lots to lots to prove, and we went out there and did a great job. You know, Wayne Gretzky and the, their supporting cast was tremendous, and we uh, finally got this thing, and I'm really proud of it. And obviously, in hockey, it's the Stanley Cup that means so much; it means everything. But I've probably seen the Stanley Cup more than I've seen a gold medal. I mean, I think people would have that kind of reaction: that's a gold medal. Well, I mean, people everywhere I go, you know, it's like they they really. You know, just bring your gold medal with you. It's like they, they're really into it, and uh, you know, it's a thing that you know, it's every four years. It's only you know been two Olympics that the professional are allowed to, to play in the Olympics. So I mean, there's not too many professional athletes that have gold medals, and so definitely it's it's something that uh, I'm really proud of. Mm -hmm. And next to this, we have the Jennings Trophy, which is an individual and a team thing too, though. Yeah, this you know, that's I really. Uh, I was excited when I, I won. I won this one. I, I mean, I won two of them. One I shared with Mike Dunham. This one is is the one that I won by myself. Uh, I play so much. So it really tells tells me I had a good season if I win the the Jennings. But definitely shows the commitment of the team playing well defensively also. And is that kind of how you decide what you keep in a more prominent spot? You know, is it based on a personal feeling and a team feeling type of thing or? Everything I do usually, you know, it's it's you know really team-wise, you know, because you know I didn't win a Vezina yet, you know, so nothing really to me that I got. It's everything that I own here. It's you know my teammates were a big part of it, and so and you know they're for me they're as valuable. You mm -hmm. know, what, what what does this spark in terms of a memory? This this Jennings thing. What do you think about from that season? I remember that I think we lost the last game and uh, Jacques didn't pull me <laughs> for losing by one goal and he said, you know what, we'll lose by one goal, we'll, we'll get the Jennings. We were all set up in the playoffs, we didn't need to do. And that was funny because the press took it maybe a little the different way. Mm -hmm. We didn't try to win that last game. But you know, as a team, we worked all year to play well defensively and we had you know, the Jennings trophy to, to show it. You know? And finally, you, know, you broke in and all right, you had a nice go. Yeah, it was, you know what, uh, this is something I never expected, you know. Like Rookie of the year. Rookie of the year. And that's funny because my, my son asked me, like, for the last few days, I don't know why he's been asking me all these questions about, how many trophies did you get? Because I just got my ring from Team Canada. Mm -hmm. So he's been asking me about trophies and who's, which goalie has got the most trophies. And I said, Daddy's got one trophy, you know, that one by himself is the college trophy. Rookie? You are a rookie? And I said, yeah, a long time ago I was. <laughs> So definitely, you know, competition. He was asking about the competition. Who was a rookie at the same time as you? 
you know, was Jason Arnott that was my you know good friend and teammate, and Yashin was there, and Michael Renberg. So definitely, it was a good year. You know, it was, it was good a good year, good competition, and uh, you know, playing uh, you know for a team that uh, you know we had a lot of success. Our my first year, I, was, I got lucky, and definitely I was pretty excited about that. One of the cool things about hockey is that the major trophies all do have different names. It's not just MVP or Rookie of the Year. There's a history to it, which yeah, is marvelous. Yeah, exactly, definitely.